Hello everybody and welcome back to Advanced Maths. Today we're learning about the binomial distribution and how to work it out using a graphical calculator. The binomial distribution tells, tells you the probability of getting a certain number of successes from a certain number of trials. And I'll show you what this means in a few examples today. The conditions for this to be applied are as follows. One, there are a fixed number of trials. So you do a probability experiment a fixed number of times um, and we call that number n. Each trial can have two outcomes, success or fail, where you, there's only one outcome that you care about, that's a success, and every other outcome is a fail. For example, you might be rolling a dice and you're interested in if it rolls a five or not a five. So there's not six outcomes there, there's two. A five or not a five. If you wanted to care about all six outcomes, that would not be binomial. Three, the probability of success is fixed each time, and we call that probability P. Similarly, the probability of failure will remain fixed, and that is one minus P. And finally, four, the trials are independent of each other. And this is effectively the same as uh, condition number three, just saying that the probabilities remain the same each time. And the outcome of one trial doesn't affect the probability of another trial. The probabilities remain the same. And if all these conditions are true, then we can say that x is distributed binomially for n trials and probability of success of p. And this notation at the bottom of the screen is how we write that mathematically. And just to repeat that, that notation means that x is distributed binomially for n trials and the probability of success each time is p, where x is the number of successful outcomes. Okay, that's probably quite confusing right now. Let's see some examples and we can come back to what this means later on. So let's look at example one. It says 20 random people are asked what month they were born in. Let X be the number of people who were born in March. Calculate the probability that X is 21, probability that X is three, probability that X is less than five, and probability that four is less than or equal to X is less than 12. Okay, so there are a fixed number of trials. There are 20 people. So we trial the probability experiment 20 times. Each trial can have two outcomes. Either they were born in March or they were not born in March. So there's a success or fail, and we don't care about any other months, just March or not March. The probability of success is 1 out of 12, because there is one month we care about out of 12. And each time that probability is the exact same, because the last person, uh, each time you ask a new person, the probability of resets is equal probability of being born in March or not March. And similarly, the probability of not being born in March is 11 out of 12. And trials are independent of each other. Okay, so we're asking 20 people whether they were born in March or not, and each time the probability remains the same. Okay, and so it definitely fits the conditions of the binomial distribution. And we can say that um, in this question, the number of people is 20, the number of trials is 20, and the probability of success each time is 1 out of 12. So x is distributed binomially for 12 trials, and probability of success is 1 out of 12. Now, let's look at uh, calculating these probabilities. The probability that x is 21 is impossible. We cannot get... Um, 21 people being born in March if we only ask 20 people. So obviously this is impossible because we've not asked 21 people, we've only asked 20 people. It's impossible to get all, to get 21 people born in March. So the probability is zero. That one's a bit obvious, but it's worth mentioning. Now for the probability that x equals three, we're going to use our graphical calculator to calculate this. And I'd like to follow the steps of this, the exact buttons. So we're going to go to statistics on our main menu, and we're going to go to 
distribution by pressing F5, then binomial by pressing F5, and then BPD, binomial probability distribution. Now to enter the details, we go select variable from the data. The X is 3. The number of trials is 20, N is 20, and the probability of success is 1 divided by 12. 1 divided by 12. Press execute each time to move to the next line, and then press execute one more time to calculate, like this. And we get a probability of 0 0.15. So the probability that you get exactly three people who were born in March from 20 people is 0 0.15 like this. And we've calculated the probability that x is 3. Next, let's calculate the probability that x is less than 5. So, this time, uh, x is less than 5 means x is less than or equal to 4. So, when you see the less than symbol, we look at the number below that, Four, and we calculate up to that amount. And this time we're going to use binomial cumulative distribution uh, to add up all probabilities of x is 0, x is 1, x is 2, x is 3, and x is 4. So all the probabilities up to and including 4. So we're going to set um, x is 0 as the lowest value and x is 4 as the highest value. And I'm going to show you how we do this. So we go back to a statistics page on our calculator and we're going to collect, select distribution and binomial again and we're going to go for BCD this time for cumulative. We have to make sure the data is set to variable, lower bound is 0 and upper bound is 4. The number of trials is 20 and the probability is 1 12th. Press EXE and we get the probability is 0 0.9784. Just looking at our settings on the calculator one more time, we set data to be variable, the lower bound to be 0, and the upper bound to be 4, because we wanted the numbers 0 to 4, not including 5, because it was less than 5. The number of trials is 20, and the probability is 1 12th, which is 0 0.083333. And so we get a probability of 0 0.978, and we can uh, write that as the correct answer. Finally, we're going to work out the probability that x is between 4 is less than or equal to x is less than 12. And here, it can be equal to 4, it cannot be equal to 12, because the sign near the 12 is not equal to, it's just less than. So it's important you pay attention to the um, key symbols here. So it can be 4, it cannot be 12, so we're going between 4 and 11. So 4 is less than or equal to x is less than 12, means 4 is the lower bound and 11 is the upper bound. Okay, so we're going to go back to our BCD screen. We're going to type in 4 as the lower bound and 11 as the upper bound. Notice that the calculator saves the settings from before. Press EXE and we get uh, the probability is 0 0.796. And that is the answer here. 0 0.976 is the final answer. We have answered all of the questions in this one. Okay, let's look at a more wordy example now. So it says, example two, the probability that someone is left-handed is P is 0 0.2. A random sample of 15 people is taken. Find the probability that five people in the sample are left-handed. Find the probability that the number of left-handed people is at least four, but less than nine. And the samples are repeated six times. What is the probability that three out of six samples have exactly five left-handed people? Part C is quite complicated. We will discuss that in more detail when we come to it. But let's start with question A. Find the probability that five people in the sample are left-handed. So uh, we're going to distribute binomially for N uh, trials and the probability is 0.2. So we're repeating the same probability experiment 15 times with 15 random people, and the probability that each person is left-handed is 0 0.2. So we go to statistics, distribution, and then binomial, and then BPD, because we want the probability distribution for exactly five people. 
and we type in this here. So x is 5, the number of uh, trials is 15, and the probability is 0 0.2. And we get the answer, which is probability x equals 5, is 0 0.103. Excellent, we have the final answer. So the probability that x is 5 is 0 0.103. Next, find the probability that the number of left-handed people is at least 4, but less than 9. Okay, so at least 4, but less than 9. So it can be um, 4 or more. So it can be equal to 4, but it must be less than 9. So it can't be 9, it must be 8. So the bounds here are between 4 and 8. So you go to statistics, then binomial, and then B, C, D. And so we're going to use the cumulative binomial, B, C, D. Uh, and the, again, use the symbol settings before. We're using lower bound as 4, upper bound as 8. Because it cannot be equal to 9, it must be equal to 8. Number of trials is 15, and probability is 0.2, as before. Press EXE, and we get 0.351. Excellent. Let's go again. I guess uh, x4 is less than or equal to x is less than 9 is 0 0.351. Be careful with the inequality here and be careful with the wording of the question. Now, finally, the samples are repeated six times. What is the probability that three out of six samples have exactly five left-handed people? Right, so here is a key uh, issue. We realise from part A that the probability from one sample of getting five people is 0 0.103. So the probability of one sample getting five people is 0 0.103. But we want to repeat that same sample six times. So now we're treating the samples like individual trials. And therefore, we, each trial has a probability of success of 0 0.103. So you've got six trials, and the probability of success is 0 0.103. It's quite complicated, that. You might want to think about that in your own time, or re-watch my explanation. But I'm going to continue. And each new sample can be treated as a separate trial. Therefore, each sample has a probability of 0 0.103 of getting exactly five left-handed people. We also want three out of six to be successful. And so we type it in using BPD, because it's exact, BPD. And the X is 3, number of trials is 6, probability is 0 0.103. Like this, and we get the answer 0 0.0158. Just make sure you um, round it correctly. Okay? Excellent. Those are the two examples for today. It's now time for you to have a go yourself. So I'd like to pause the video and have you go at uh, the question on the screen. A biased coin lands on the head 60% of the time. It is flipped 12 times. Calculate the probabilities as you see. Okay, when you're ready, I'll reveal the answers in three, two, one. Let's go. Did you get it correct? Let me know how well you did in the comments below. Thank you for watching this week's video from Advanced Maths. Remember to like and subscribe to support the channel. And you can also share this video with your friends and classmates. We're covering GCSE, A level, and IB maths with quick and simple explanations. And new videos come very soon, most weeks. Check out advancedmaths.com for more revision resources. Thank you for watching and good luck in your exams.